okay so hello friends today we are going to discuss the lower limb muscles with the blood and nerve supply so this is a quick revision session so let's start so we'll start with the gluteus maximus so wait a minute let me choose the color first this is the blood. okay so gluteus maximus the blood supply is through superior gluteal artery and nerve supply is through inferior gluteal nerve okay next gluteus medius the blood supply is same superior gluteal artery nerve supply is superior gluteal nerve okay next gluteus minimus the blood supply is same superior gluteal artery and nerve supply is true it's also same as gluteus media medius that is superior gluteal next so gluteus maximus gluteus medius gluteus minimus is done next is piriformis so piriformis blood supply blood supply will be superior gluteal and nerve supply is L5 spinal nerve okay next is superior gamelus gamelus okay superior gamelus the blood supply is inferior gluteal artery okay and the nerve supply is to L5 spinal nerve here a spelling mistake has occurred so spinal next obturator internus obturator internus the blood supply will be inferior gluteal artery and the nerve supply will be s1 spinal nerve okay next is obturator externus the blood supply will be obturator artery okay and the nerve supply will be obturator nerve next is inferior gemellus here the blood supply will be inferior gluteal artery nerve supply will be S5 spinal nerve next is quadratus femoris the blood supply sorry the blood supply will be inferior gluteal artery and nerve supply will be S5 spinal nerve okay so this is the gluteal region it is done next come to the thigh region so here it is the sartorius so sartorius the blood supply will be profunda femoris nerve supply is femoral nerve okay next vastus group muscles we have vastus lateralis Vastus intermedius and vastus medialis. So vastus lateralis. Let's see. Vastus lateralis blood supply is lateral circumflex femoral artery, and nerve supply is by femoral nerve. Okay. Next, vastus intermedius is same circumflex femoral lateral. And vastus medial is through femoral artery. And nerve supply of vastus intermedius is also same femoral, and vastus medius is also med femoral. So these three are same for vastus group. Femoral. No. Next is rectus femoris. So rectus. Rectus femoris, the blood supply is through lateral 
circumflex femoral artery and nerve supply is through femoral nerve okay, femoral nerve next is biceps femoris we have long head and short head so in long head the blood supply is through perforating branches of thigh okay and the nerve supply is through tibial nerve okay next is short head short head the blood supply is through the same perforating branch of the thigh and nerve supply is the common fibular nerve okay next is the semi tendinosus so semi tendinosus the blood supply is through perforating branch of the thigh so it will be also same perforating branch of the thigh and nerve supply is tibial nerve next is semi membranosus here the blood supply is also same that is the perforating branches of the thigh and nerve supply is also tibial nerve next is adductor magnus adductor magnus the blood supply is through femoral artery okay and nerve supply is obturator nerve next is pectineus pectineus the blood supply is through circumflex femoral and nerve supply is through femoral nerve okay so now adductor group in adductor group we have brevis adductor brevis and adductor lugnus so adductor brevis is through blood supply is through femoral artery longus is also through femoral artery nerve supply obturator nerve it is also obturator nerve so you can remember easily okay so at femoral uh, blood supply and nerve supply both are same for the adductor group of muscles next is gracilis so gracilis the blood supply is through obturator artery and nerve supply is also obturator next this is tensor fascia lata the outer covering of the lateral side of the thigh okay so this is the blood supply is through uh, superior gluteal artery nerve supply is also superior gluteal okay so thigh region all done next come to the leg so leg we will start with the tibialis so tibialis is tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior anterior the blood supply is through anterior tibial artery you can easily remember anterior is anterior and posterior is posterior tibial artery and nerve supply is through the anterior portion of the tip anterior tibial is by deep peroneal and posterior portion is through tibial nerve okay next is extensor hallucis longus the blood supply is through posterior tibial okay and nerve supply is by tibial next extensor digitorium longus okay the blood supply is through say posterior tibial nerve supply is by deep peroneal okay next is peroneus longus here the blood supply will be by fibular okay 
fibular or the perineal and nerve supply will be superficial fibular or the perineal next is the peroneus brevis so peroneus brevis the blood supply is through same fibular or the peroneal and nerve supply will be same superficial peroneal next is the gastrocnemius to gastrocnemius the nerve supply sorry the blood supply will be posterior tibial and the nerve supply will be by tibial nerve next is soleus soleus the blood supply will be popliteal artery and the nerve supply is through tibial nerve planteris planteris the blood supply is by popliteal and nerve supply is also same tibial next is sorry planteris and popliteus so this was planteris okay now this is popliteus so popliteus here also same the popliteal artery and nerve supply is through tibial nerve next is flexor hallucis longus flexor hallucis longus by the peroneal artery and nerve supply is through tibial nerve next is flexor digitorium longus the blood supply will be posterior tibial and nerve supply will be by tibial nerve okay so this is leg portion is done now the foot portion so lots of muscle are there in the foot portion so let's start on see one by one so first one is the extensor hallucis brevis so extensor hallucis brevis the blood supply will be by dorsalis pedis okay and nerve supply by deep peroneal next is extensor digitorium brevis so here the blood supply will be by same dorsalis pedis and nerve supply will be same deep peroneal next is abductor digiti minimi so abductor digiti minimi the blood supply will be lateral plantar okay and nerve supply will be lateral plantar okay next is abductor hallucis so abductor hallucis the blood supply will be medial planter and nerve supply will be also medial planter next is flexor digitorium brevis so blood supply will be medial planter nerve supply will be medial planter next flexor hallucis brevis here the blood supply will be medial planter and nerve supply is also medial planter so you can remember these three easily okay next is quadratus planti quadratus planti the blood supply is to lateral planter lateral planter and nerve supply is through also lateral planter next is opponent's digiti minimi so this open city minimi blood supply is plantar metatarsal okay and nerve supply is through lateral plantar next is flexa digiti minimi brevis so blood supply is through lateral plantar and nerve supply is through lateral planter okay 
Next number 10 is lumbricals. So lumbricals of the foot is supplied by the medial plantar and nerve supply is through also medial plantar. Next abductor helps is the obliquate. Obliquate is supplied by the medial plantar deep branch. Okay, and nerve supply is through lateral plantar. Okay. Next is abductor hallucis transverse head. The transverse head blood supply will be lateral plantar and nerve supply will be lateral plantar last one is the dorsal interosei here the blood supply will be by lateral tarsal and nerve supply will be by lateral plantar okay so that's it the lower limb muscles and the blood and nerve supply so guys i will advise you to please use the atlas book during this lecture and so the end of the lecture so guys if you like this video then wait a minute do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel